Welcome back to Inferno for Free Space 2. We have decided to deploy Alpha, Beta, and Delta Wings after receiving an advance warning from Intel that EA forces are preparing to conduct a large-scale counterattack to press back into GTVA-held systems. We must hold them back until the gate's weapons modules are brought back online. Can we just deactivate the gate? This is fenced in the ninth mission. The GTD rays has been sorted to the gate to provide additional firepower. Protect her at all costs, but don't allow any EA ships to penetrate this hastily deployed blockade. Once the gate systems are repaired, the station's massive beam arrays should be enough to deter any further attack. The technicians estimate a repair time of 12 minutes. Keep the EA back until then. Um... They weren't enough the first time, though. Primary objectives prevent as many EA ships as possible from escaping and protect the rays. It's a scrambled it's a scramble mission, so let's hit it. Salt gate to all units. Our techs estimate about 12 minutes since we can bring the band cannons online. Alpha and Beta, the EA's goal is to circumvent our defenses here and spread into the surrounding systems. Delta will intercept any bombers that the EA deploys, but you will have to assist if they attack in force. Alright, well, they'll be coming. We know where they'll be coming from, so let's watch the gate. <coughs> to engage EA warships with. We need to move into position so we can bring our flank guns to bear. Huh, random explosion. Terrius class destroyer EAD Situs. Beta, engage. 
is that getting us into? Pilot, we're in position. However, our guns on this side won't do the job alone. We'll concentrate on the smaller ship. You engage the big fish. Well done, Got it. people. The site has been eliminated. The EA will keep up the pressure, however, so stay focused. Incoming Peregrine Bombers. All units, defend the race. Let's load up support. Come on. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Good on you, sir. Damn it! Wow, we were never gonna we were never gonna keep him down. The EAD Centaur has escaped. We'll track her and send in backup forces to intercept. Copy command. Ship in transit.
Return to base, pilots. The end game is upon us. Rearming sequence aborted. Acknowledged. Returning to base now. I copy. Engaging jump drive now. All right, this station can handle itself. Let's hit it. <sighs> Too bad about the race. Although this is a sad day for the fleet, you performed as well as could be expected of any veteran pilot. The race had no time for her crew to get to the escape pods. The ferocity of the EA assault took us completely by surprise. The EA has suffered a far greater loss to its forces. With two destroyers and four other warships obliterated, Earth stands no chance of regaining her dominance in Allied systems. Initial reports indicate a dispersal of the entire EA fleet throughout the Sol system. The final push to her homeworld is upon us. As for the EAD Centaur, we have drawn a blank. Clearly it was meant to escape the battle while the Kane and Zealous drew our fire. However, the warship never rematerialized on our sensors after jumping. GTVI and SOC have been allocated the responsibility of hunting down the Centaur. We realized there was nothing that could have been done to intercept the destroyer before she jumped out. Alright, no recommendations. One total kill with three assists. One uh, Peregrine Bomber. Bring our all-time total to 51 with 18 assists. <coughs> so this was fenced in the ninth mission of the uh, of the uh, Inferno Classic campaign for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming as we celebrate the campaign's 20th anniversary of release and the uh, voice acting done in recognition of that 20th anniversary. This is Paladin Gaming signing off. <laughs>